folks, welcome back to the Harmonica Barge. I've got a great old folk song for you today. This one's called Pick a Bale of Cotton. It was probably the most famous version was done by a, a great blue songster called Leadbelly. There was also quite a famous British version by a singer called Lonnie Donegan. Uh, harmonica players have done it as an instrumental in the past. I think Sonny Terry did a version. Today I'm kind of going to do a version which I've adapted. I learnt this with my first harmonica teacher, a guy called Dr. Midnight. What a great name that is for a harmonica teacher. He's sadly no longer with us, RIP the doctor. So I'm on a C harmonica. We're playing in the key of G, second position. And this tune's got an A section and a B section. You could almost think of that as the verse and the chorus. It's one of the simplest of folk forms. Each one's eight bars long. Um, so that's very, very simple as, as folk songs go. Let's go through the basic version. For anyone else who's interested in a more in-depth version, if you follow the link below, I've created a custom backing track, which was the track you heard then, which I've written and recorded specially to help harmonica players develop their rhythm skills. So the way I've put the stresses on the beat, the percussion that I've included, is all bespoke to this, to this song. Um, but anyway, let's get stuck into the basic version. We're starting on a whole three draw. And moving to a two draw. Staying on the two. That's the first bar. And to respond. Two, 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 two on the draw, two blow, one draw. So the first two bars. And then bar one happens again. But the response this time goes. Two, one draws, two, two blows and a two draw. The great thing about this tune as well is that there's no bends on the basic version. So it's a really nice tune start to develop your rhythm in. OK, so the first four bars. Then we get the same again. But this time it goes. Last two bars, we're going three draw, four draw, three draw, two draw, two blow, and the answer on the bar eight is the same as bar four, so we've got. Okay, so that's the A section. Let's get stuck into the B section. Uh, for all you guys, just remember if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do click the little red icon below, that helps me out a lot. Thanks so much. Okay, so we're going to move on to the B section. Now I should mention at this point, the A section does repeat. So you've got two times A, two times eight bars. Very, very common in these folk tunes to repeat a section. Okay, so we're moving on to the B section. Again, starts on the three draw. This time we hold it and then move to the four blow. Then to the four draw, so that whole bar. And then bar two of the, a, of the B section, sorry. You may notice that bit's the same as the A section. So there's a lot of crossover here and repetition, which again is very, very common in these folk tunes. So from the start of the B section again. Same again. And then we answer which is again the same as the A section, okay? So the only difference there is the first bar of the section. And again. And the last two bars. Okay, so that's, I'm gonna play the whole thing for you, but I'm just gonna do the A section once and the B section once. If you get the backing track, that'll be twice each. So here we go.
Okay, for anyone who was uh, on the ball there, you may have noticed that I missed out the variation on bar 7 of the A section. So I'm going to play the A section again for you. And then the B section is going to come in as normal. Now, if you play it like that with this tune, yeah, you know, that's okay. But the great thing about this song is that you can really accentuate some of these rhythms and really pick out some of the chords. And what we're trying to do is get this offbeat. So the ba bam 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 two, three, four, one, which is beats two and four. And this is the thing about country folk music, old timey music, a lot of the time you want to get that accent. That's giving the song the groove. Okay, I'll just demo a little bit of that. See, I'm picking out and I've changed the single notes to chords there on the off beats, okay? I can do a similar thing on the B section. On the B section, I'm starting to add some bends there as well, taking that three drop. So I can start to add some bends, add some chords on the offbeat. Very cool if you start to add some tongue block effects. This is a, I cover this in my in-depth lesson a lot. So we go into how to approach this with different techniques, with tonguing triplets, with tongue block. And obviously the idea is to cover different techniques, a range of techniques to produce different sounds and timbres on the harmonica. That's what's going to make it really interesting. Okay, so I do hope you enjoy this tune and uh, check out the tab and the backing track if you want to get that stuff and do subscribe if you haven't already. I'll be back with another harmonica video very soon. Take care until then. Thank you.